Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel, I'm Nicholas and we are going to be checking out the new, at least for me, new songs on Baby Monster's first EP, Baby Mon Sevener. <laughs> Baby Monster. Um, we've already reacted to the title track Sheesh earlier um, after a bit of a delay because it just wasn't on when it released at midnight. Uh, we've obviously also already checked out Better Up and Stuck in the Middle, which honestly doesn't leave us with too many new songs. Yeah, the track list of the first mini album. It's basically more of a glorified single album, for being honest. We had a new title track. The intro called Monsters. Um, then a new B side called I Think I Like That. Or like that. Um, and then that's basically it already actually for the new things. We have some OT7 versions now. But I'm just so used to the OT6 versions now. That I don't really see point in checking those out. A remix of Stuck in the Middle. Which is whatever. Um, and Dream. Which was a pre-release single. Slash pre-debut single from nearly a year ago. Which I've never checked out. So we're finally doing this now. Means we're doing the intro. Then the new B-side. And then that. Let's not waste any time. Get to Monsters, which I've actually avoided. I think it was also actually already been released earlier. I don't know how 90% of the album was already out before. Well. Very short intro, obviously. I heard there's lyrics to it though, so... Oh my god, that line is heat, but... Bro. YG. What are we doing here? Why would you give them the emptiest of choruses in Better Up, that is basically 95% instrumental, and then an extremely lazy and unpleasantly repetitive chorus in Sheesh? Why don't we have this right here? This sounds incredible! A harmonizing melody! Everybody singing together! Dope lyrics! Why is this wasted on an intro? Why is this wasted on an intro? Why are we not taking this right here and make it the chorus for one of the title tracks? Why do we not make their debut song called Monsters and we do everything we did in the, in the main song of Sheesh and swap out that chorus there with this, and then make the ending portion here a bit the outro at the end. 10 out of 10 song! Why is this an intro? Why are we wasting such dope melody and sound and just, you know, the way they're singing together sounds epic too. Why are we wasting this on an intro and then choose such terrible choruses for the main songs? Oh my god, that makes me so mad. What are we doing, YG? <laughs> This is so cool, but it's so short, and it would have worked so well for an actual proper song. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm um, not sure if I will keep this, like, if I had this to a playlist or something, I don't know, it's just like mentioned a bit too short, but it's so cool, it's so good. This is generally the, one of the best things Baby Monster has dropped us for, and it's a 40 second intro. Oh, YG, if I catch you. Uh, let's hope the B-side is good. Like that. Yeah, it's also only three minutes long though, around that time, so... Uh, we see. The first proper big... I said I look upon your face Something my mind cannot embrace Never give Her voice, man. Her voice. Holy moly. I have to start to walk your way I wanna hear what you would say Asa? Wow. It's the first time I properly hear her sing. If I come close, baby, would you like that? If I give some more, you give it right back. If I show you that I know where it's at, baby, would you like that? Wait, is this gonna be fully English? Seems like it. Yeah, yeah. Make it feel way better than your dreams. If I show you that I know where it's at, baby, would you like that? Baby, would you like that? Yeah, it's like that, like that. How you run you right back? Now you're on the right track, Queen Nate. I be thinking what's too much on you to let it go. Oh, running through my mother. Mm. 
Damn! Chiquita sounds gorgeous, but wow, Asa in this song is insane. Both vocally and in the rap. Okay, now I know that Rora though. Rora is a very identifiable face, if that makes sense. Because I think I actually mixed her up with Ayun earlier, I'm not sure. Hey, this is a vibe though. This is such a nice lean back. Very, you know. Baby, would you like that? Like if I give some, would you give it right back? If I show you that I know where it's at Baby, would you like that? Baby, would you like that? Bro! This is gonna be on loop for a moment. I mean, why not always like this? Why not always make such a nice, cohesive song like this? Huh? Why don't you? You can still do it, right? Man, it's never. It's not like why she never makes good music or stuff like that. But like the way they've been producing these time tricks, you would think they're like you know just bad at choosing what's good. But this, that's incredible. It obviously works 10 times better as a B-side, this is just not your typical title track type of sound. But as a song itself, oh, the vibes are immaculate. It's doing an incredible job at highlighting their voices. And honestly, Baby Once's voices are genuinely incredible, man. I've heard it in Stuck in the Middle, but like this song also really, really highlights it because it gives them a bit more of a faster tempo in comparison to a piano ballad while still giving a lot of room the song really isn't that filled in terms of sonical production you know it's still rather hollow in that sense not empty at all but like mention still doesn't have too many elements um that really leave a lot of space for the voices to really shine through to you and especially once again Robbie like mentioned I keep mentioning her over and over but like her voice has really really done it to me especially in the stuck in the middle and she once again sounds gorgeous here but everybody in this group sounds vocally so good Chiquita like mentioned it like in general like Robbie Chiquita 16 14 I think how can you sound like that at this age and we've talked about it during the battle of debut I'm really not a big fan of these idols debuting so young for many many reasons but on the other end man they already sound so incredible and it would be kind of a waste to waste years that we could have got music from them already you know but man they sound so good i do really want to especially highlight asa i hope that's how you pronounce it asa asa in this song she actually reminds me a bit of isa from stacy vocally because she's obviously i'm not sure if she's the main rapper i'm not sure if there's actually like full positions like that anyway she's definitely in the rap land with with ruka and ahion but she had first a vocal section in the beginning, and oh my goodness. Right after I start to walk your way, I wanna hear what you would say. You got our standards, and I too. Wow. Wow. That section sounds so gorgeous. Her, her voice sounds so crystal clear here, and so, you know, so. Yeah, so clear, so so on point, so so smooth, so bright. And it sounds incredible. And I mentioned it really sounds a bit like Isa when she sings like this. And that sounds incredible to me. And then later, and then later, she just, you know, flips the switch and... You be running through my mother, I'm a lady show. See nobody stepping up to me, see nothing when I'm calling, you be running out of hour. How is she doing it both? Back to back in the same song. To the top, baby boy, baby roll. Mmm. Like mentioned, this party from Jakita also incredible. And then that harmony section later with Rami and Ayon. Ayon, by the way, a rapper and singer too? Is everybody just doing everything here? But hey, 
the beat, the tempo, the lyrics. This is gonna go on loop this evening. This is probably already gonna be like my top listen to song of the upcoming week, very likely. Wow. Honestly, maybe already one of my favorite beats of 2024. And it's really good for the length too. This song really didn't feel like it needed much more time. Yeah. These nearly three minutes. Perfect length. Robbie's voice. Because like mentioned, it's very chill and vibey, but you can also. And it being fully English makes it very sick alongable too. Would you like that? Baby, would you like that? Damn. This is already their best song. Obviously, Stuck in the Middle has a special place in my heart because I'm such a huge piano ballad enthusiast, and that's one of the best piano ballads I've heard in K-pop. But in terms of, like, the rest of their songs, easily number one thus far. Yes, there aren't that many yet, but this is, like, in terms of song production and the way it's written, by far the cleanest, the most on point. Like mentioned, both Better Up and um, she have very good sections, but the whole product just feels like it's either lacking something or needs changing. Like that, the way it is, 10 out of 10. Perfect, from start to finish, nothing to complain about. Perfect length, everybody shined. The rap is great, the vocals are great, the chorus is great, it's catchy, the lyrics are fantastic. Flawless. This is the song that's all for them, 1000%, and it's definitely going to get a minimum 100 to maybe 200 listens in the upcoming week for me. 100%. Certified banger. And now to wrap things up, is the pre-debut song Dream. Like mentioned, this was already like over 10 months ago, but as I talked to you about it in the Better Up reaction a couple of months ago as well, I had not checked out anything Baby Monster related, nothing, neither this nor any of their pre-evolution performances or whatever it was called, nothing. Yeah, I was as blind as possible, I have yet to check them out, which means I can now do so as it's now officially on streaming sites in the EP. So if I waste any time, check it out, Baby Monster 3. Actually though, beforehand, let me quickly write my bro, holy shit, it's B-side. More songs like this, by the way. This song is thus far, like mentioned, like that, is thus far the best showcase of the potential this group has. It's the per it's it's thus far the by far best song they've released simply because it like highlights each of the members individually so well. The song itself is really, really good. And this is the song that keeps me very hopeful. That like mentioned, not only will the presentation and conceptual production of the group get better to the point where it, because this also this song also really doesn't feel like blanking too much even though i can really imagine them on it but like in comparison to the other songs it feels much more like its own thing and that's a huge step up or like a huge step in the right direction i hope we get more of this yeah like that is thus far definitely the measuring stake that we need for baby monster definitely but now like mentioned three oh, that's the wrong button oh what did it do okay Sometimes I don't know who Wait. I am. Wait, not a lot. I'm myself again. Can't find a light in the dark. What do you mean? Oh my god, from when was that? Why? Are you... Holy moly, they look like 12. But. Why didn't y'all tell me we have already had a piano ballad from them? I'm getting stronger, a little longer. I'm getting stronger. Finally able to breathe Finally able to see
No sleep, you keep them lullabies. Cross out, I've been the one to ride. From Roma, see you later, bye. I keep it a hundred, we want in a million, a billion, a kid in a cell, and it's limitless. Stars in the sky were infinite. Envision the just how I pictured it. Whoa, that float at the end with the infinite picture. It. But wow, it's insane how different they look, by the way, here in comparison to debut. Must have been a while ago. Hey yo, I'm actually glad I didn't react to this sooner because I would have been mad I wouldn't have been able to listen to it on Spotify. Damn, am I getting a materi item? Might be wait. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Yeah, I am. Holy shit. Uh pfft. Damn. Um These are literally their best songs. Like that, Dream and Stuck in the Middle, those three. Holy shit. Again, both better up and and sheesh aren't terrible. Whatever, whatsoever, better up like mentioned definitely grew on me. Sheesh might as well, um, but like these two ballads and like that, wow. Genuinely, those three songs make it so that I will continue to check out every single Baby Monster release going forward. If anything. If I would have checked this out before the debut or before today, I would have 100% been especially excited for the debut. Um, even though I would have expected already that it's probably not going to be that, but then I would have been excited and be like, oh my god, Stuck in the Middle, it's basically Dream 2.0. Because even though it's very different to Stuck in the Middle, um, even though they're both piano ballads, it's just as beautiful. Oh my god. Damn. If you've watched my reaction to Stuck in the Middle, you should know that these type of songs are the ones that get me the most, okay? In the beginning, when I started listening to K-pop, I, was, I wasn't really interested in the ballads and like vocal songs. I wanted the hype, I wanted the power, I wanted the excitement, stuff like Blackpink, ATs, Dreamcatcher, something loud, something energetic. But then as COVID came and I had a lot of bad times and I really wasn't feeling too well, it were the slower songs, it were the ballads that really gave me comfort, that really healed me, that really, you know, just... That I just loved listening to and that just carried over ever since. And I haven't played this with like nearly a thousand songs at this point, you know, which is like songs like this and chill songs and whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm one of the biggest appreciators of songs like this. I know a lot of people won't care for this song or for Stuck in the Middle, and they will more care for songs like um, Better Up and She, which is totally okay. Just like for many people, they only care for 4D or Curious Love or how you like that, and don't care for songs like Stay or Hope Not or... Um... Oh, which was another beautiful one. Um, you never know, right? There's a lot of people that don't care for the slower songs with the balance of the groups and only care about the big title tracks or specific B-sides. I'm somebody that cares for both of it and honestly appreciates and loves these songs even more. So Dream, wow. Wow, you saw it. My eyes got a bit classy there. Holy moly. So now the question is, what am I going to be listening to later on, Lou? Is it going to be this song or is it going to be the other song? Wow. Genuinely, the three things we've just checked out here is the best they've released. The intro, Monsters, is their by far most epic thing yet. That definitely should have been implemented in a full song as a chorus, 1000%. Wasting that on a 40 second intro should be considered a crime, YG, yeah? 
but then like that, the perfect song for them thus far, that isn't a ballad, perfect tempo, lyrics, everything, and then stuck in the middle of Plus Dream, beautiful ballads, genuinely heavenly, sonically and vocally, just pure perfection. And this is what I will basically, how you say it, um, categorize Baby Monster with thus far. A group with... You know, typical YG songs as Tata tracks that have their good parts but ultimately fail to be as good as they could be while then having the true gems in the B-side direction with the ballad, ballads and the one proper B-side plus the intro. Yeah, this is how I would categorize Baby Monster this far. Tata tracks that aren't fully utilized to their potential while they have incredible B-sides with beautiful ballads and more. And this, like mentioned, really makes me excited for Baby Monsters going forward. These girls are insanely talented, they sound incredible, and I really, really hope that YG won't blunder them, or whatever you call it. Yeah, that they give them frequent comebacks, that they do not let them go into the dungeon like Blackpink, um, and then they give them more proper songs like that. Because trust me, there's nothing worse, um, in my opinion, than a talented cable group with insane talent and insane vocals and voices and rapid flow not getting the songs they deserve, you know? And makes us debut, I will remember forever, Owen Tank, to this day, I can with these songs. F luckily enough, they turned it around and gave them incredible songs like Run For Roses, Rex, OXO, and Dice, and, you know, I'm happy that they turned it around because Enmix was too talented to be wasted on weird songs like they were given their debut. And for Baby Monster this far, like mentioned, Better Up and Cheech aren't terrible at all, just not as good as it could be, but I'm already glad they've been given already songs that really utilize their potential, and I hope that this will continue to be the case. Bravo. Jim is gorgeous. I enjoyed this a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction plus thoughts to the new songs, at least for me, um, on Baby Monster's first EP. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below to show me that you did your thoughts on the songs that we checked out here down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoyed what I'm doing, if you want to support me, then leave this up as well. It would help me a lot. Like mentioned, um, this is all the new things now for Baby Monster for B. Again, the OT7 versions to remix, it's just whatever, I don't really need that. Um, so yeah, now the time. Of waiting happens where we wait for new music while obviously we'll now listen to Dream stuck, uh, stuck in the middle and like that a lot. This is basically how it's going to be like, by the way. I will put both Better Up and Sheesh in playlists and then I will listen to them whenever they come around while I will listen actively to those three songs here. Yeah, the two ballads and like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, we will get another Baby Monster comeback later this year. I would really, really love to see that. And beyond that, I hope all of you have a wonderful remaining weekend. Um, have a wonderful start into the week. And see you again soon with more Baby Monster and other camera reactions on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe.